Well, this yellow pipe is a gas pipe. It receives gas from the landfill and transports it further into the engine. This is an internal combustion engine with 20 cylinders and a capacity of more than 2.5 thousand horsepower. Engineer Valery Zamikula demonstrates how the station works. Landfill gas is transported to a gas collection point, then moves to a gas compressor station and finally to the electric current generator. It is expected that the station will be able to generate 10 million kilowatt hours per year. Geologists are convinced that the current amount of biogas in the left bank landfill will be sufficient for more than 15 years. The company has been working on projects for biogas production, collection and energy use in Mariupol since 2009. Back then it was only the second company in the country active in eco-business, namely the extraction of biogas. First, according to the Kyoto Protocol, we began to extract gas at the Primorsk landfill. Starting in 2012, we began to generate electricity under the green tariff, and in 2017, we started negotiating here and investing even more funds. The launch of the station required laying more than four kilometers of pipes in the most productive sections of the landfills. This is the site with the most organic debris and therefore gas. Then they drilled wells to a depth of 25 meters. It took them several years. They never gave up, not even when militants fired at Mariupol. At that time, when the leadership of a company made this decision, there were a lot of explosions. In particular, they could be heard on the left bank. We are grateful that they were not afraid to invest 2 million euros. It was a period when not everyone was willing to come to Mariupol. The station will have enough power to provide electricity to 4,000 apartments. In addition, the overall number of hazardous toxic substances will be reduced in the city and the landfill will be reclaimed. In the future, the company intends to lay pipes to extract landfill gas at existing sites. According to new technology, wells can be drilled in both closed and open sites. Reported by Nadia Sukhukova for UATV.